Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kaway, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We're looking at the book or die book. Wow. De How book? do you say that? Do you book? De book. Uh, when I see that, it actually looks like a Korean word to me. That's what I thought. Uh, die book. book. Like, you know with the H? How Indians yeah, with have the, the H with sound? With the aspirated H, yeah. Yeah. Is there an aspirated B? I don't die know. Die book. Okay, anyway, this was with Emron Hashmi, Nikita Dutta, or Dutta, and Manav Cole. New horror movie 2021. Horror. Is this Cole? K A U L? Like Koshal? Cole? Yeah, maybe Cole. Cole? Comes out October 29th. If you guys want to watch it, make sure that you have an Amazon Prime Video India subscription so that you can watch it when it drops October 29th. Yeah. Free fast delivery as well. We're not promoting Amazon. This is directed by J.K. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. Here we go. The gruesome killing of a local has sent shockwaves throughout the city. Oh. Wow. Location spot. And what do you want? That's a big Location house. I'm making a location. I'm working. How is your mother? You know how it is, father. Miscarriage handle करना इतना आसान नहीं है। माही तो मैं ये घर ये जगह पसंद है ना? पसंद नहीं होती तो इतना सजाने का थोड़ी सोचती। Dutch maid है मैडम, 300 साल पुराना। Oh, that looks evil. Oh no. Open shut oh, up. Oh no, you've just brought something into your house. You could call the, the ghost exterminator right now. <laughs> Holy crap! Something wrong. Kabi lagta hai sab kuch sahi hai. Kabi kuch ajeeb sa lagta hai. Look at her. She's possessed. Whoa, wine cabinet kisne khola? Whoa, the book hai. The book? Ah! 16th century mein kuch Jewish log ek ritual karte the. Dissatisfied spirits ko body se alag karke ek box mein band karne ka. What? Wo un spirits ko Hebrew mein shedim bulate the. Par jo bhi ho, is the book ko kabi bhi khola. You already did though. Oh God! It no. shouldn't be open at any cost, and it's just out and about. Ew! <laughs> Not the type of threesome that you were looking for. इस समय माही जो सोच रही है, देख रही है, महसूस कर रही है, वो वही सब कर रही है जो वो चाहता है, और जो रुपाये एक्सोर्सिज्म करता है, वो उस आत्मा का सबसे बड़ा दुश्मन बन जाता है. बुक से निकली हुई रूह जब तक सब कुछ बर्बाद नहीं कर देगी तब तक वापस नहीं जाएगी Dude. Why would you walk towards Why that? would you? Why would you walk towards that guy? Why would you walk towards that? actually looks fun. I have a serious question for you. Yes. Do you think horror film directors have a foot fetish? Because what? Like the first thing you see with the monsters, especially it's usually a girl. It's usually a lot of feet. <laughs> you noticed? Go back and watch the trailer again. Guaranteed. It's yeah, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's a maybe it's a foot fetish or maybe it's just that there's something scary about seeing a thing feet? and not seeing the entire thing. You could show their thighs. <laughs> I think a foot is more scary than a thigh. You've obviously never dated Big Bertha. Have you? I thought that was interesting. There's a lot of, you know, classic horror tropes in there. You know, I, I'm noticing that there's this huge onslaught of horror films coming out of India all of a sudden. What's that oh. about? I, I don't know, but also, hello, it's Halloween. This is coming out on October 29th. It's going to be perfect. You know, you want to have a feel a little bit scared what's around so no Halloween what, time. What, what's so noteworthy about October 29th? October 29th is a Friday. They release films on a Friday. Though. What does that have to do with... Why, why a horror film on October 29th, though? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I just like to see you get mad. <laughs> Do you not know it's Halloween, Jabby? <laughs> You're such a troll. It's why is the box out? She bought it at an antique shop. No, the dude said, why, where, why is my wine box out? It that's should never not be a open. Wine, that's not a wine box. I know it's not a wine box. He called it that just to like throw off your suspicion, your scent. He said someone opened the wine fridge. Isn't that the wine fridge? No. Why would you keep wine in a box like that? I'm so confused. You crazy. Hold on. Let's <laughs> jump forward in the trailer here. Oh. 
first off, why are you be opening up shit? Like, yeah, especially <laughs> if you you got it's basically got a pentagram on it. You see a star on it, it looks kind of creepy like that. It's the star of David. You're like, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> I'm all, they said Jewish people in the thing. It so. is. It is. That is right. But a, a pentagram is also a star. But you you see something like that, and you're like, why why would you? Yeah. Why would you do that? You don't do that. What did you do with that, with that red sauce? The that's not red sauce that's blood it's blood oh i thought she put it on her skin or something like oh that smells interesting <laughs> now it's in you forever like james bond what's that uh, oh nanobots no, yeah nanobots no oh, time to die there you go spoiler alert why is it a spoiler alert that's not a spoiler that's in the movie yeah it's in the movie nanobots okay carrying on so maybe there's nanobots like ghostly nanobots inside the inside the blood yeah she put it on her skin that's exactly it now she can never get it off it's basically no time to die except for right now. It's stuck on her forever like a char on this channel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Carry on. See? Yeah, feet. that's feet. It's yeah, because feet. it because it's like You could have shown the thighs. Just as scary. <sighs> thighs are not as scary. Like look, if you just if you saw her thighs, it wouldn't be okay, as then scary. Why not have boots on her then? Or some like Nikes. Because look at those decrepit toes. They look like they're about to fall off at any second. Mm. Like why are there lacerations on her feet? Right. That's what true. happened to her? That's true, that's true. I just wonder what if, if it would be just as frightening if she had some Air Jordans that had some mustard on it. It would if they were a collector pair. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That would be i I'd be like, oh God. Yep. Whoa, yeah. Wine cabinet gets Nicola. Whoa. See, he said wine cabinet. Yes, but okay, this is what they did. They took his dialogue from a different scene and then they added the image from that. That's not a wine cabinet. Maybe he knows what it is. Look, at, he's like, it's a dibuk. Why would, if he saw that, he, he knew what it was. Maybe it's a dibuk. Yeah, the wine cabinet is a dibuk. That, maybe they just, maybe it's a, mistran a slight oh, mistranslation. Oh, or do you think that they, you're saying they repurposed the box for a wine cabinet. No, I'm saying he called it a wine cabinet and you're not supposed to touch a, a, another man's wine cabinet without permission. You can't touch this wine cabinet. There's another one over there. <laughs> okay, whatever. And then Jenny's head fell off. In century, there were some Jewish people who were doing a ritual. They dissatisfied spirits to put a box in a box. I mean, iPads get, you know, they're they're pretty futuristic now. Technology's come a, far, uh, come a long way. What's so scary about an iPad? You know, it's got some video on it. You, you hit, he, he played it. That's all. They called those spirits in Hebrew. And whatever it is, it's never going to be open. It's too late. Yeah. This is like all of the horror movie tropes. Well, the stuff in the bed, I haven't seen that before. Oh, really? I feel uh, like that's the most classic thing of like ghost stories. You've, you've never heard the one about like um, the, I needed the a ghost moment where trying I, to touch you on the bed? Or like, sure, but or I needed like a the moment ghost where licking your hand? Ugh. I needed a moment where Emron Hashmi looks over at his lady and goes, honey, not now. <laughs> Right, like, I feel like I, I feel like that. That's the moment that I wanted instead of the the sheets flying off. Yeah. I wanted a moment where he's like, "Oh, babe." Exactly. <laughs> that's a, that's really cute, but it's like, I'm I'm really tired right now. Yeah. And then and then she wakes up. She's like, "What are you talking about?" And then he's like, it's, "Isn't that you touching my thigh?" And she's like, "No." And then they look at each other, and then they look down, and then the ghost pops up, and it's like. Surprise! And then they're like, oh no! You're imagining a very different movie. <laughs> no. Having the sheets thrown up at the camera is easier and cheaper than what you just described. Yeah. It's also cheaper to show boots instead of feet. <laughs> See feet, more feet. That, that was different. That shot right there, because you see, again, feet! And so, <laughs> you see the feet and then no- I think no. the ghost has a foot fetish. <laughs> I think she's just like, check out my feet. Because like the ghost is definitely a weird individual. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's creepy. That's cool. That's, but, yeah, you know, that's the funny, really creepy. The funniest thing is it's actually a very simple trick. It's, it's a very- It's two shots, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very simple because in the whip pan, that's when they cut. But mm. it looks like one continuous shot. Right. I find that image of the wife walking pregnant like just so disturbing. This shot was the dopest shot in the entire thing because yeah. up until this point, this is a trailer of things almost happening. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like things almost happen. But yeah. then here you see shit is really going crazy. Yeah. Like, is that, that's one of the exorcists, right? I don't know. I feel like. But this right here, I, I, I lost respect for Emron Hashmi for the scene. <laughs> <laughs> like GTFO, man. Why would you walk up to that? I'm just joking. By I the mean, way. okay. It, it, say this is a real situation. Your two options are walk up to it and discover it and face it head on, or run away and have it come behind you. Because mm. you know, as soon as you turn around, that shit's gonna like come up behind you and like strangle you or something weird. I don't know why Amron Hashmi didn't uh, talk to the director and be like, I wouldn't do. My character wouldn't do this. <laughs> why? Why would I do that? Tell me why. Why would I walk up to a thing that obviously looks creepy deepy and pull the <laughs> shoot off and expose myself to harm? Why would I do that? Yeah, and with a baseball bat? Come on, man. I'm gonna walk this way. At least, w what holy Jewish things can you be carrying? Like, you know, like, cause when when you're going up against ghosts or vampires, if you're Christian, it's like you got you got the cross, you have- The stake. The, well, yeah, well, I mean, that's a weapon, but like, or, or holy, a cross that's holy, got a stake built into it. Oh, very cool. That's like real vampire hunter type shit. But like, uh, you know, holy water or something. Like, what? what is the equivalent in the Jewish faith? Would you be wearing like a star necklace? Like a star of David? Would you like go up to that thing and like press it on its forehead and be like, psh, got you. Anyway, that was fun. Thank you, Imran Hashmi. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon Prime Video. I would love to know if if, if there are any Hindu-based uh, ghostly horror films. Yeah. You know, because Shri, that's the name of the movie, right? Shri. Shri, sorry. Shri, that's not based in Hinduism at all. That's just a ghost. I mean, that's a that's a ghost story, but I imagine if you called an exorcist, you would probably call someone from the Hindu religion. I'd love to know from you guys in the comments below about that stuff. I'm Jabby Kawai. This is... Achara Kirk. Peace out.